Chelsea met Manchester United record as 143 million pounds transfer decision pace of Fortem Mustachel. There was understandable tradition among the Chelsea supporters who travel up to Goodison Park on Saturday morning. Two of one in recent years, they have watched their side produce a make performance on Everton turf. Two of them, they have made the return journey back to London disappointed. That it was the opening game of the champion perhaps aided Chelsea. The atmosphere inside Goodison was still intimidating but the ferocity that overwhelmed the Blues players in this a victory last term was absent. Also missing was a Dominic Calvert Levin and that couple with Solomon Rondon's suspension mean Everton didn't have a recognized striker to call upon. Chelsea were able to pin Everton back into their own half as a result, they dominated the position in the first half. A bad struggle to find through the Everton bad line. That was until Kalido Kalabali slipped a pass into the feet of Ben Chilwell inside the Air Force and penalty area, and he went down under pressure from Abdullaye Dokor. A penalty was awarded. John did your step. Up from 12 yards and up again Jordan Pickford, the goalkeeper who saved his penalty in the Euro 2020 final, confidently converted that profit enough to get Chelsea over the line. Although the Blues did have further opportunity to add to their lead, it's always about the win when you play Premier League, said head coach Thomas Tuchel. A win is a win and it's most important because it's what we play for it's important to build confidence belief the atmosphere and also to be open to improvement and criticism because there are a lot of things to improve there are also a lot of good things to take away we have struggled in the last year to steal the point here and win and today we got all three and a clean sheet from here we go the victory was the 20th occasion chelsea have started a Premier League champion by attacking all the three points that is a record only Manchester United can't match in the formation of the league in 1992. There was very few surprises in the starting 11 name by Tuchel, which included summer arrival Khalid Kalibali and Raheem Sterling, Marco Corella, who completed his move for Brighton and Hope Albion yesterday, was also introduced. In the second half, by the Chelsea, Chelsea attempted to see out the game. The trio were signed for combined £143 million and all three produced positive displays. Colibali was dominant defensively and, as highlighted above, played the key pass of the game to unlock the Everton defense. The 31 year old wasn't quite able to complete the whole 90 minutes. But of case why he will be a fine Anthony Rudiger replacement. Sterling meanwhile brought a new element to Chelsea's attack. The England international particularly in the opening 45 minutes was inventive in position and sharp in his movement without the ball. Had Sterling been a little more fortunate, he would be found. The net in the second period with a close ring effort that was defected just past the pass. Kukurala was brought on for the final 15 minutes on the contest, although they were in additional intent added. The Spaniard had just one session with his new teammates before the game yet was sure and impressive in his use of the ball. It was a promising as a cameo from a new signing could produce. Even the return of Premier League football couldn't quiet. Still focus from the transfer window. That was because ahead of the contest, new image that Marcus Alonso had asked not to be included in the Chelsea squad amid strong interest from Terry at Giant Barcelona. The 31 year old has spent six years at Stamford Bright, but with less than 12 months remaining on his contract, is ready to bar to camp now. And when asked by Football London to clarify, whether Alonso was absent at Goodison Park because of their interest in his service, the German replied, This is his case, he tries to leave and we agreed to this wish. 
That's why it would not have made sense to put him on the pitch today. He would have been on the pitch otherwise. But in this situation, it was the right thing to do.